Guys, it's Sunday evening and I'm in a shower cap because I've been spending hours just losing my very, very, very 4 seek hair. Super coily. I have braids, so my hair, it definitely grew. So now today's a wash day, which is a whole thing, where I have to wash my hair. There's avocado mask that my sister told me about. Apparently it's a, a Cardi B's car, avocado hair mask. So I have it in my hair right now. So I I'm gonna leave for a couple of hours. I am gonna wash it. Let me tell you, my hair, journey, my hair journey is a whole thing. Good morning. My neck is quite sore. If that makes sense, like my eyes are tired. Yeah, the, I need to buy glasses. Finer has been actually been working wonders for me and is allowing me to do gratitude and do my to-do lists. Ali Abdel's um, essential part-time productive planner. It's been so good. And I've been using the weekly perspective to kind of plan out my uh, what I learned from last week and what I want to plan out for this week. I don't really like this. I might rearrange it and may cover some of the paint chips in the wall. And I look crazy because I'm still in my wash day cycle. I gotta show you guys a package I got from Amazon. Um, I'm pretty sure this is my powder, uh, the green powder. I'm trying to increase my metabolism and trying to take more greens in even when I'm not eating physical whole foods. So I got powder form and I don't really like having powder forms of things because you don't know what they're gonna put in it. You don't know if it's actually real raw greens, but I researched it over the weekend. Other than athletic greens and Sakura, Sakura is what I wanted to get for metabolism, but they don't they don't ship to Canada. I got raw organic green superfood that I got from Amazon. It's quite expensive. I think it's around 20 bucks and I'm gonna try it out. I heard the taste, the taste is not that great, but it is raw. Okay guys, I'm back. So here's what I got from Walmart. I have a lot of cleaning to do, so I'm gonna do this really, really quick. The first thing I got is this heavy duty swiper which I really like because it's perfect. I love this wiper, it's really nice. I can use it to wipe hardwood floors and it really does get all of the stains and cleans in. It leaves a nice, really good scent. This is for painting, as y'all know, mini home projects for my bathroom. This is for the painting as well. I'm gonna put this plastic protective drop sheet. Uh, this is sweet basil marinara sauce. I also got another one, uh, the tomato basil. When I get tomato, sauces i like them to be super plain i don't like anything in them because that's their excuse of adding additives and sugars and things like that so i just got these because they were cheap and y'all know prices right now glasses to food to clothing it's insanely expensive so they're about a dollar fifty or a dollar ninety each so i got them and it's great to it's a great way of adding vegetables into your diet i need tons of sport bras I recycled the I recycled the very few that I have. This is eleven dollars from Walmart, and it is a gray sports bra. I'm really excited. It is padded, and it does have this lining here, so it can sit perfectly right below your uh, breasts, um, right below your chest, which is great because this could actually be if it does sit properly on me, it could be a great mini tank top or crop top that you can put underneath a blazer or whatever. Uh, so moving on, I got uh, this toner. I've been looking for a toner forever, okay? I usually get this Garnier toner um, that has, I believe, thyme in it, perfect for my skin. So I'm gonna try a Witch Hazel. Witch Hazel is a very popular brand. It's a very drugstore popular brand, but this witch, this facial toner is actually $17. Yes, very expensive. Hopefully it works, because y'all know I've been returning that. I do have their facial mist, which is great for winter and I can be able to refresh my face when my face gets dry in the winter, which it does. I'm gonna get dry and then I break out. I got this, the Great Value. The Usually the name brands is kind of expensive, $11, $12. But I do, this is kind of a bit of a luxury, a scent booster with my wash. I'm gonna wash my clothes. But I'm not buying any more chips because I went through the bag of chips like I was in a famine for six months. So I don't know what's going on, but I'm not doing that. Uh, so I got Wheat Thin, which is really great. I love these. Uh, I think I like 
the regular kind is good too, but I think I really like the multigrain better than the regular kind. We'll check again. I'm, I don't really count calories when it, throughout the day, but when it comes to snacks, I like to check how much I'm putting into my body. So it's 11 crackers for 90 calories, which is perfect. That is, I can eat 20 calories. I can eat 20 crackers and I can be full and that's 150 calories, so good. And then I got this Oli body wash, which I'm excited to try, but it's, it's in the, can y'all see it? It's in the notes of the white strawberry, white strawberry and mint, that's what it is. And I smell it and it smells really, really nice. You can smell the strawberry. It kind of feels empty though, it's super light. So hopefully it lasts me about four bucks. So I was gonna get the bigger bottle, but knowing me and the way I love my scents, I'm probably gonna go over the scent in a couple of weeks. So I'd rather go with a small bottle. And it's kind of like, it's kind of rosy and uh, rosy, fruity. Uh, I like the scent, I don't know, we'll try it. I got this car scent, uh, which I'm running out of. I got a four berry blend for my smoothies, which I don't eat a lot of, but I like to have them in the freezer or anything just in case I want to. Pesto is really good to spice up pasta, to put in pizza sauce, to put on pizza, um, yeah, in your, in your pizza sauce. Uh, maybe an egg scrambles in my breakfast scrambles that I make, this would be really good as well. Another good way to add uh, vegetables in your diet and then I don't have time I don't have time this week to make my homemade whole wheat bread that I usually do I know I'm not gonna have the time so I got this great value uh, great value bread and I don't like buying bread again like they have make an excuse to add things into the bread but the ingredients does say whole wheat and it does say yeast um, and germ um, and things like that. So sugar is not, it's not, it's not super top, which is, which is great. And then two slices for 170 calories. So detergent, just like any kind of detergent, I don't really care for that. And then I have, I don't know what it is, but we're going a lot. We're, we end up spending a lot of these dis disposable Ziploc containers uh, um, very quickly. They end up going missing and I don't know why there is, why there is, you know, why, I don't know why they're missing, but anyways, I got this five bucks. And then, y'all don't know my hair, okay? But when it comes to my hair, boo-boo, my hair is brittle like tumbleweed. So I've been, re I've been researching this type of deep conditioner all online, and then everybody's saying black girl hair, okay? Black girl hair with 4C, this is one of the best deep conditioners right now. Now, you probably have one that's good for your hair. If you don't have one that's good for your hair and you're still searching for me, this is really good. This is the Camel Rose in the Coco Mango Butter Deep Conditioning Mask. And I'm gonna put this on tonight so I can be able to wash it, wash my hair. So my hair, my hair wash days ends up being three days. I don't know, it's insane. I just don't have the time. Um, so this is $31. $31, boo boo. So this better be good. Oh, y'all know I'll be returning it, okay? And yeah, and then I think I got some chicken thighs. Y'all know what chicken thighs look like. And that's pretty much the haul. And I'll see you guys later. Hello everyone, MJ here. And we are painting my little bathroom. You guys have seen like the other side of this, the other side of this camera. Um, but this is the other side you guys don't see about in my little washroom here. I am, actually you can probably see me set up there. Today's paint day. Um, I am so excited because I feel like this will be very therapeutic for me. It's after work. I got a dirty, so I don't, a sweater that I don't really care to put paint on. And we're going to be painting the bathroom here. I have one cane of paint. Everything that I got from the paint covers for my floors right now to the paint brushes and the paint tray, all from Walmart. You don't need to go bougie with it. Okay. Um, and that's what we're doing right now. I'm going to be painting this dresser inside and out. And I'm also gonna be painting all over the walls uh, and it will be one color. Now, when I thought about this, I thought mm, maybe I should make it one color, but one color is fine because I will be redoing the floors, which is gonna be really, really exciting. Um, I'm not doing the floors today. I'm not redoing the floors today, but eventually I would do that. Whatever this is, 
um, this is actually working for me from Walmart. Um, obviously, I do have a bigger one, but I just wanted to test it. This, this to test the color. Um, I think when it comes to, I think it's supposed to press really hard on it, but look at how it's coming out. Why is it? Okay, so I'm gonna go to, so what I'm probably gonna end up doing is going to Home Depot and get proper paint and proper thing because I don't like the way this is coming out on the walls and it just looks low key crazy. The color that I did for this board, I do like it, but you can see the streaks of the paint that I put on it, the streaks of paint. So what will probably end up happening is if I don't like the way it comes out, I'll probably wrap it with some sticky um, and have and just keep the inside as a bit of texture inside. Um, but yeah, we're going to have to go to Home Depot and get a whole a whole paint situation here because it's not coming out. And I know I realize when it comes to paint, you're supposed to do a lot of a lot of covers. So you're supposed to paint a lot of them over and over and over again and over again. But I'm I'm not really liking the way it's really turning out. So I don't know if it's because of the color or I don't know if it's because of the tools that I'm using. But I know you're supposed to put a lot of coats. That's the word. A, a lot of coats um on the actual on the actual thing. So 